She was dating, um, you know, Chino from Escala? Yes, Okay, Chino, Chino, Chino. From, this I met Chino. This is how it all started Shout for out me. to Chino, man. Shout out to the homie Chino. Uh, I, had a, I had a girlfriend from Florencia when I was, well, back, well, when I came out in Teen Angels. Okay. It was me and my girlfriend for, for, from yeah. Florencia. Her little sister um, was the one that said, Beatrice, her name, her name was Beatrice. That I ended up kind of, after I broke up with her, we ended up keeping in touch. And when I had the record store, somehow Beatrice and I came in contact again. And Beatrice was the one that said, hey, you got to meet my homeboy Conejo. Uh, he raps, you know, a cholo rapper. And I was like, yeah, a cholo rapper, really? <laughs> and I always thought that there would be a cholo rapper because it's only natural, right? right? And I was like, wow. But then, and then after that, I had a, another girlfriend shortly after who was from uh, Easy Rider. And then she started telling me about Conejo. Okay. So I'm like, you know, two people already, you know, second person. And by that time, um, me and my homeboy that I grew up with, Motivate, uh, he's, he has a studio set up in downtown. This is around 91. And then, uh, yeah, that's when I uh, started bringing Conejo over there to the studio. Him and Bandit. Right. Uh -huh. And um, so, so she was dating Chino, right? I didn't know this. So I got off the mic, me and Veneno got off the mic. Oh, he's like, hell yeah. So every, I almost raps like custom made, where we shout out all the clicks and, and a certain homie or whatever, right? So she walks up to me and, and she made a little card. And it's a card, that one B-Boy, they said B-Boy Records. And she's like, hey, my, my boyfriend has a record, uh, she said a record store, but I heard record company. I was like, oh shit, really? She's, I made it. Me dio una card. I'm like, I Let's made it. it. That's it. I'm going to get a record deal. So le marco, le marco, I called the number on the card. Le, es, y me contesta Chino. So he's like, hey, um, pull up over here to 900 East 1st Street in the loft area in downtown over there. Es una vivía su, su, su boy that que became the, the DJ of the Black Eyed Peas. I'm going to okay. motivate. They were in LA High. Like LA High was like the hip hop scene in LA like for schools, you know? Like those schools in that area. Which is this area right here? Yeah, right, they were popping. Because LA High is not too far from here. Y entonces este, he's like, come through, rap. So I go, vamos yo y veneno, right? Todos mis pinches raps, little notebook. Ready to get put Papeles on. doblados, all kinds of shit, right? <laughs> y estos ways, they don't have shit. They got a little tape deck with a fucking cable and a mic. <laughs> so estamos ahí rapeando y nos están grabando, right? Y ya, and then, uh, and then me acuerdo que, que it, it, we, that shit turned into like four, three to four hours smoking weed we're chilling. and this was the first time you ever met chino that's on me and he and he's from 18 you know but yeah, but, but, but right out. there that that didn't matter that's right because because that that had that area's always been like artsy people so everybody right there is just like you're you're an artist right there that's i mean right. like literally like you're an artist you're painting you're a musician so that was my introduction to that world where i was like oh shit it's cool right here the hood ain't that far fuck it so entonces me acuerdo que when I'm, I'm leaving, le, di, le digo a Motive, le digo a los dos, le digo, hey, but, because I was rapping on fucking instrumentals again, right? They had me right there rapping on instrumentals. Right. Like, hey, but how do you make a beat? How the fuck you make a beat? I want my own beat, like an original beat. And they're like, they hit me with the bad news, like, nah, well, you're going to need about like 3K because you got to buy a sampler, you got to buy this. But I'm like 14, 15, maybe like 15. Another thing I was going to turn 16. It's like, all right. Cool. We start robbing. Put us, ro put us two elevens. I said no robberies, pero, pero we would never come up. It would be just enough to get the get some Cortezes, get la Stanford, just stay fly, fool. stay fly, and just no, no, no. The no, J C Penny shirts, no, yeah, no, no, no se hacía. Y entonces, este, de hecho, we'll go to the J C Penny right there in North Hollywood and put on like six shirts, ah, a gang of them, and then leave with a gang of white shirts on. Like, open up a gang of packs yeah, and just put sure. them on and take off. And we're in this dead end, right? One of the dead ends where we kick it at, which is Viene Siendo La Adams and Juliet. And, and fools already had Dayton's on their cars back then. Right. So this is like four in the morning. We're in there like, todos los que don't go home. All yeah. the, all <laughs> the, the, all the, todos los ways that don't go home. Holding it down in the hood. Yeah. <laughs> so we're right there. Y, y pinche Camaro goes down the dead end, fucked up. They, they, y era, era, no, era un, como un IROC. Gold Dayton's. Se mete esa madre, and they're like, they go all the way to the end, they're like, fuck. So they start, do so in Chinga, we like push the big trash can, we block the street, and we was like, hey, bájense la verga. 
So we get these fools off, all cowboys. So we arrest these fools. We have them on the wall, todos acá. <laughs> so we arrest these fools. The homies take off in the car. Y nos dejan a nos, so I was, because I was a kid, so they like, the homies sort of like got us, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. So we're like, nah, 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 these fools are ours. <laughs> you take we, the car, we, we get, they, These fools belong to us. So we get these fools for bracelets, chains, uh, los las bolas. These fools walked vámonos. away in socks. Vámonos. The hats, all that shit, los cintos, todos. <laughs> so, so, ahí es cuando, I, then I hit them that up. That was the link like, that helped you out right and there. And I was like, hey, let's go shopping. All right, cool, fuimos. Bought a sampler, uh, four track. It was a Tascam four track demo. Microphones, headphones, cables. That's All right, now make me a beat. Yeah, ya empezó todo. And it's a trip because uh, Conejo, like just not that long ago, when I, you know, reconnected right. with him, he was telling my homegirl her story, and Conejo was like, "Man, me and Chino used to be from <laughs> Enemy Hoods." Like, <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. When I was working in New York. Uh, you know, working in music or whatever, Conejo got a hold of me and he sent me a demo tape. And uh, before he started going hard with the CDs, right. like before he really blew up, he started sending me some cassettes and the package used to be all dead end harpies. And, <laughs> and I used to be like, oh boy, like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, much love to him, man. And, that's right. And so, so proud of his success right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure, you know, man. Like Shout he, out to Conejo. And that's somebody that's really went through it. Yes. You know, like that's yeah. a great that's a great story, man. Hopefully, uh, yeah. hopefully you'll come on. We're still looking for you, Conejo. 